Hey everybody, Jeanette here. I've got some deep stuff to talk about. This is Roseanne Barr, and she has been saying some pretty good words of wisdom. And lately, she is talking about repentance. And um, I think uh, what mind control, she said that you're under, you need to get out from and stuff, and people need to start waking up. I think she's talking to other famous people, probably more than us, but there's a lot of people out here, of course, that are not woken up. Um, I'm going to play this and let you listen to what she has to say. What I'm trying to say, I know I keep interrupting people and I'm sorry for that. So I'll just talk here because then I don't have to have them interrupt me when I'm interrupting them. But if you are unable to change within the next 10 seconds like this to change your mind. No, I should say, if you are able to do that, that will help a lot. It'll help a lot more than having wars and problems, you know, because everything is a war for hearts and minds. So if you have the heart to want to make the world a better place for all of its children, then you should immediately snap out of any kind of mind control program you're belaboring yourself underneath. And listen to me. We've got to get really smart and we've got to wake up. But more than any of that, we have to be able to repent and change because the way we're living well, it's not doing us so good. I mean, collectively. But um, if you're if you're in pain and anger, and hurting other people, and then forgetting that you're doing it and making excuses for it and denying that you're doing it and all the all the drama that comes around along with um, trauma and PTSD and all, all of those mind control programs they've got us, the social programmers have us uh, fighting each other in. But you're, you're able to go like this, hey, doing, I want to start over. What you have to do is first repent for what you've done just to yourself. Go look in the mirror and admit to yourself the things you've done that are wrong and get right with your maker whatever you conceive it to be and whatever it will make you stop hurting other people. You need to stop and repent and then come back to us, come back to the human beings. Leave the programming, leave Egypt and come with us. We're walking out of slavery. We're about to split open the Red Sea. Come on, there was 12 tribes of us, 12 tribes of us and we will um, again find a way out together. We need to do it real quick. Start with repentance. Start with the man in the mirror. That's a very true song. She knows the time is getting really short. Just like that in the blink of an eye, you could say, oh my God, I'm not going to do that anymore. All these inverted people doing. better wake up. I realized what I'm doing. They better. And what's kept me She's asleep. one of them too. Of course she is. I'm going to wake up to it and let light heal it all up. Let the light of truth heal up all my wounds and help me stop and change. War one. I love you all cannot cannot oh Jesus yeah are you serious they can't keep going on and on and on and on they have to oh, yeah, look at this little female there look at them sloping ass shoulders yeah 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 successful real estate investing yeah that's right it's as bogus as every other commercial is and stuff but anyway you guys see what Roseanne, I think, is talking a lot about 
her people and stuff are these all these famous people that are inverted. They are a different race than what we are. And yeah, there's a lot of us little ones out here that, you know, we care about this and that and do this and that and stuff. And yeah, there's a lot of bad stuff that we've done. But we are not the ones in charge that are inverted sexually um, that are part of the elites that she on her side are connected to. They're all related. And I believe that she sounds like she is pretty scared, actually. She's trying to tell her side, I think, to wake up. So we'll just have to see how all that goes, everybody. Um, she seems like she's doing pretty good uh, with her words of wisdom. And uh, it's just always interesting to hear what she has to say. Because it sounds pretty good, but I hear it that she really wants the people on that side and the ones that are causing all this aggravation, they better stop it. She knows the time is short. Satan is not going to be on the throne much longer. Lord Enki's coming. He has told me, and um, what he told me, when my grandchildren have grandchildren, they'll have to get to know him again. And that could be any year now. I think it's between three, five years. Anyway, enough of that for now. Um, let all that think, uh, sink in and tell me what you guys think if you want to. Just put it down below in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye for now.